and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I filmed my second ever makeup tutorial slash testing new products. I've got loads of Charlotte Tilbury goodies that I tried, um, all like brand new, never tried before. So I would love if you could watch and let me know what you think. I have got way too much highlighter on. This will be assessed and discussed in the video. So keep watching and yeah, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe and Here's how I created this look. So I will have already done the description without my... So I will have already done the introduction without my ugly mug. Um, but basically today I'm doing a Charlotte Tilbury, like first impressions, full face kind of thing. I've only ever done one like tutorial, but you can really call it a tutorial because I'm not a beauty expert, but like makeup look or like makeup video on here before um so let me know if you want me to do more but like obviously i am an amateur um so this is probably going to be a really long video just fyi because i am a blabber um and it's just going to be like a chatty video so before i do anything i've got my invisible ball i'm just going to like shove my hair up so that i can get to my face um, and i've got quite a few charlotte Tilbury products basically i have not worked with them before so they sent me loads of products that were like um, to try their best products. <laughs> She's gonna be in here being annoying the whole time. Oh! Um, so yeah, they sent me like their best products to try. I've also got a couple of other products and they obviously didn't send me like an entire face. So I've got a couple of other products that are new to try as well from L'Oreal. Um, and then my favorite was, um, concealer, because I don't have a new concealer to try. And you've gotta have something you can rely on. So, before I even get into makeup, they sent me two of their top products, which is the Magic Eye Cream and the Magic Cream. I'm not going to do this whole, because I don't know how to do it, and it never focuses, and I just spend 10 minutes wasting my time, waving things around, trying to get the focus, going out of focus, and then going back into focus, so I'm not going to do that. But what I will do is I'll just write on the screen, and in the description below, I'll link everything that I use, so you can see... Um, but yeah, first of all is a magic cream. Heard so many amazing things about this. Ooh, the texture is really interesting. It looks like icing. So I'm just gonna put this on. Everyone's probably gonna, there's probably gonna be a million comments below like, why did you do that? You did that wrong. You're dragging your face. All of these things. I saw kind of Jenna once, but also, I'm really sorry if loads of things are fast forwarded with me trying because it's probably going to be like an hour long otherwise. I don't even take that long to do my makeup, but when I try and film it, honestly. Well, I've only done it once before, so I sound like an expert, but I also put it on my neck. I don't know if you meant to do that, but I do. Yeah. Smells really nice. First impressions, I like it. And then we're going to go for the eye cream. Similar beautiful pot. These will definitely be going on my nightstand because they're beautiful. And I just did a collagen eye mask actually just before and put some pseudo cream on this spot which will not go away. And honestly, I was going to not film this and film a different video because uh, I did a poll on my Instagram stories. It's not just a random video. I did a poll when I got all these products and people said they wanted to see a tutorial, which is why I'm doing it. So if you don't watch it, guys, then I'm annoyed at you because you forced me to do this. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I can't remember what I was saying now. I can't remember what I was saying now because Penelope just distracted me with a major barking session. But yeah, I get spots basically like anyone else, so yeah. Eye cream, probably putting way too much of this on. I often think, how do I get to the age of 28 next month without knowing how to put makeup on properly? Maybe someone should buy me for my birthday a makeup lesson. And then I've just got some lip balm, which is the Liz Earl Super Skin Super Lip Balm. Really like this one. Not too much of a fan of the taste of it, but really feels like it does some good okay so first makeup product is the wonder glow which is an instant soft focus beauty flash primer i've actually already had this before but it was clear like just a cream whereas this is like tinted i have opened them all up and looked at them this is like tinted looks really interesting so it's kind of got like a bronzy goldy glow to it so again i'm just gonna put this on my hands because that's what i do with my normal primer Sorry if it's really noisy at this video, by the way, because I live on quite a busy road and I have only got single glazed windows and I'm right by the window today, downstairs, so. 
I feel like I should go and get a mirror, actually. I might go and do that. So that I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, that will probably help. BRB. So I've actually got a little fake tan on as well. So I look quite tanned in general. Normally I'm really pasty. But I've got a um, loving tan on. I'll link that below too. I adore that tan. Like, oh, literally insane. Um, okay, then I do, I always do my concealer. I don't have any concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm going to use my favourite one, like all time fave, which is NARS Soft Matte. And it's like nearly done. Also put this on with my fingers. I just like get a little bit on the end of my nail. And like, lick it on, literally. I know so many people are going to literally be like, what are you doing? And then I just kind of rub it in. I'm literally looking in that mirror and it looks like I've got these giant pan dries, but in this, um, in this mirror, it looks fine. Um, and then, oh, I forgot to cover up my new friend. Okay, so now I have some new products from L'Oreal to try. This is L'Oreal Bonjour Nudista. It is an awakening skin tint. So I'm guessing this is gonna be quite a natural look because normally I wear quite heavy duty foundation. Um, and this is a skin tint, so just put some directly onto my brush, which is very dirty because I don't clean my brushes. And this is the Clinique brush. I love this brush. I've got like three of them, so that when I'm washing one, I always have a clean one, but I don't clean them, so it doesn't really make sense. Though actually I've only got two now. I remember <laughs> I lost one down the toilet when Derek died in Grey's Anatomy. I was so shocked. I literally dropped my makeup brush down the toilet. I was distraught. Um, so I didn't even attempt to wash it. I threw it in the bin because I was like, I can't put makeup on with something that's been in the toilet. Uh, I put quite a lot on, <laughs> as you can tell. Okay, so next powder. And I have got a new product from Charlotte Tilbury for this. It's the Airbrush Flawless Finish powder um again in the beautiful like all the packaging for charlotte tilbury is just absolute gold um it is beautiful got a lovely mirror in it and i'm going to use this brush which is an old avon brush my mum used to be an avon lady fun story i used to be an avon lady um back in the day i was like a 10 year old avon lady it's quite funny so this is just like shade two which is medium i guess they just sent me all the like standard shades of things. I put quite a lot of powder on because I'm not someone who likes to take makeup out with me. I'd rather just put a lot on at the beginning of the day and then have it last all day. Um, so I'm not about that natural look. I'm about that stay all day look. So I'm liking this. I mean, it's just a nice little powder. Next stop is Bronze and Glow. This is something I've wanted to try for ages. I love the packaging as well, the way and like uh, you unfold it. It's quite it's like a little Pandora's box. Um, this is such a beautiful palette. I've already got one, very similar. So this is basically sculpt in highlight, but I have got a bronze and a blush that I already have. So I bought that one down so I could use that as a blush because um, I don't have a blush that's new. So yeah, I'm going to use this new one for bronze and highlight and then I'm going to use that. Um, so bronze, my bronzer brush from Real Techniques. I literally go in on the bronzer. First of all, I go all over my face. So now I'm nice and orange. Then I will get my brush. I've actually got a contour brush, which I haven't used in ages. And it's from Sigma and it's really good. So I'm gonna use that for this. So I'm gonna, it's like a slanted, <laughs> angled contour brush. So I'm just gonna like rub the side on there. Um, so I've got like a line. I'm just do it along my cheekbone. I do loads and then I blend it, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna blend. And here, and then here. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Lovely faces. And then I'll get my normal bronzer brush and just blend. So then I'm going to get the highlight. And I have actually got a highlight brush again from Sigma. And it's the Tabish Highlight. I'll link all the brushes, all the makeup, everything. But I am going to keep saying it. And I'll try and remember to write it on screen too. So then just get this in the highlight. And literally, again, I'm just so clueless on these things. But this is how I do it. I put some on my eyes like just under my eyebrow and then I put it on like my cheekbone and then sometimes if I'm feeling extra fancy I also get a little bit and do the end of my nose and here so then I'm going to get my other palette and just do the blush I actually really like this blush you only need a little bit just going to swirl it around and then sigma brush do it on the cheeks Um, actually, one thing that this does come with, I forgot to mention, is this, and it is actually a really nice brush. I didn't use it, I just used that, so. But yeah, it comes with, like, their blusher version, comes with its own little blush brush. So, I don't actually have an eyeshadow from Charlotte Tilbury, but I do have this new highlight palette from L'Oreal, which I thought would make a really nice eyeshadow palette. I might be wrong, I'm not an expert, I'm probably wrong, but I'm gonna try it out. Um, I just thought the tones were really nice, I really like this, like, goldy colour here. So I don't, I'm not an expert, I don't do all this like shading and stuff, literally just shove it in, rub it around, <laughs> that's really well. And I'm going to put it on my eyes. So now I've got highlighted eyes, I'm also going to do something that I've seen other people do with this like kind of really, oh I'm like showing you in this moment thing, this like really nice like yellowy kind of shade, just going to get it and do this. So the next product is the Classic Eye powder pencil and there's a new one and this is a I guess it's like a coal eye oh it's like brown maybe I should have used this is like an eye pack I'm gonna try and do eyeliner I don't normally do an eyeliner flick with a coal I don't know if you're meant to do that I'm gonna try it because I'm a rule breaker um but yeah so we'll see how this goes I'm gonna put the mirror here in frame so you can see me do it but as I said I'm not an expert so it's probably going to go wrong, <laughs> so you can watch the disaster happen. This is not happening for me. So I'm just going to put a little bit underneath my eyeline. I don't like doing it on the bottom because I do think it makes my eyes look smaller. So I'm just going to do it underneath my like lash line. So my fave eyeshadow at the moment is this. Dolce and Gabbana one, I'll link it below, it's called Emotion Eyes um, and it's in the shade Terra 2 which is brown and I do actually find that brown eyeshadow suits me despite being fond, I think it's because it's not as harsh and um, this is so easy to do liquid eyeliner by the way like with this pencil I always pull on my eye, not, meant, not sure if you meant to do that or not. So that's one eye done, now I'm going to do the other eye. Next is another Dolce & Gabbana product that I love, which is their eyebrow pencil um, and it is called the shaping eyebrow pencil one side is the comb spoolie if you know and one side is the pencil and I like that it's like shaped um, and this is in shade 3 mocha probably too dark for me but I roll with it I like it I don't know any different um, so first of all I just brush my brows out not really sure what or why I do this but I saw other people doing it so I do it um, so yeah, I brush it out. I have got a bit of a mark here and here, which does bother me because I wore fake tan when I got on my eyebrows done. And if you do that, it can stain your skin, which is annoying. Um, but I'm stuck with it, so it's fine. Um, so yeah, my own fault. Um, then I get this bit and I just fill them in. 
I normally do the ends first. Um, I try and do it quite lightly because it is a dark shade and I am blonde. Um, so like I do the end first and then I literally just go under here. Yeah. Miniver. Ta-da! Done so. Then I am going to just brush them out with comb. Not sure if you meant to do that. I'm not sure why you do it. Um, but I got this sent to me ages ago from YSL Beauty and I love it. Um, and it's like a chill brow and I literally just brush over it. Sometimes when I've just had my brows done and I'm going for a natural look, which is rarely, I will just <laughs> use this because it's got a bit of product in it. Sorry about Penelope, I can't control her. She's on heat at the moment, so she's being such a moody beesh. Aren't you? You've been a moody little beesh. Um, so yeah, not sure why I do it. Can't remember what I was saying now because she distracted me again. But done so what next i have another charlotte tilbury product which is the five star mascara full fat lashes i actually had a dream about using this the other day which is really weird like i've never dreamt about using makeup before does that mean i'm becoming a pro i don't know anyway it's a full fat lash mascara in the shade gothy black um oh i like the brush nice thick brush i like a good thick brush and i like ones that aren't plastic too because i know plastic sometimes they say it's better but not a fan okay so i'm just gonna use this i always wiggle it at the root first and then i do the length so that i try and get minimum mess on my eyelid which is always inevitable anyway it literally looks like i put highlight on this spot And I dunk it in again and I do the ends. What do you think with with that? Um, I really like it. I'd say it could be more voluminous, but I think if I let it leave it a bit and then I came back and get it, did another one, maybe I'll do another one after I've done this eye. And um, I think we could get that. So I'm really close just to show you. I just did another coat on my mascara. And it's popping. So now I have got three more products. First one is this Hollywood Flawless Filter. I actually went to the launch of this the other day. So this wasn't in my blog mail. It was just like an additional product. But I thought I'd wait to use it for this. Um, and let me just read the box. So I'm not really sure how to use it. It's like trying to get like a real life Instagram filter. So... You can use it like to touch up your foundation or just as an extra. This is what I saw the guy doing, so this is how I'm gonna do it. Put it on my hand. I did it on my sister. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That sounded really wrong. I did it on my sister. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do, like he put it just like around here to create like a filter. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Someone's gonna comment and be like, what are you doing? You look ridiculous. But he just did it like all around this area. I think I need more. Whoa! <laughs> what have I done? Maybe you just went to put it as a highlight. But it literally, he put loads on everywhere. I feel like highlight is on fleek. Unreal. I like situation going on here. Okay, I'm gonna stop with that because I've gone crazy. Oh, I forgot to move that out of camera. Um, and okay, so now the big moment, the lips. I don't have to do both of these. First of all, we have Penelope Pink, which I've heard a lot about. Got a dog named Penelope. Love the name. This is a really nice pink. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Um, really nice. Love that one a lot. And what shade is this? This is... Not... Oh, wait, no. This is Walk of Shame. Love the name. Oh, it's not as dark as I thought it'd be. It's kind of like a berry red. I don't know why. <laughs> I could just hold it like that. It's like a berry red. 
I quite like that colour actually. I've never even worn that colour. I might I might wear this one. I was gonna go with Penelope Pink, but I think I'm gonna go with this one because it's different. But then shall I go for No, I'm gonna go for this one. Please don't laugh at how I put my lipstick on. <laughs> yes, I am a child. This is actually really nice. So such creamy lipstick and tastes delicious and I like it. Honestly, I'm so highlighted though. Like I look like a clown. Okay, let me take this off. Ta da! There's a finished look. Way too much highlight. I don't know what this is gonna look like when I edit it, but from here all I can see is this big patch of like shining light beaming out to space to try and get signals from extraterrestrial beings um but yeah i really like it i like it in this mirror don't like it in that so not sure what you guys think let me know what you think to my first ever tutorial whether you think i should never do it again or you like the comedy value or how awful i am um let me know and if you want me to do more like if i get another like huge set of products from a brand if you would like me to do it again or and does this look weird i'm not i'm sorry but should my shoulders be in this like so I don't just look like a floating head. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you want to see more. Let me know if this is way too long. Like, I think I'm just going to leave it all in because, I don't know, maybe I'll cut it shorter. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>